Hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Gaines here, back with another video, man. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome to my channel, man. I post a lot of 2K19 heat on here that you wouldn't want to miss out on. So if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, be sure to drop that like button too, man. Turn on those post notifications, all that stuff, because I be posting a lot of 2K19 heat that you guys wouldn't want to miss out on, man. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, bro. But anyways, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to be an overpowered post-score post ISO player. Now, you guys can see I'm out here rocking on my 69 overall pure post-score. You heard that, right? 69 overall, man. This player is so fresh. He got no badges, nothing, bro. I'm really just out here playing raw. All I got upgraded on this player, a little bit of everything. A little bit, obviously, because I'm a 69 overall. So when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. And I just got my post scoring maxed out to like a 95. You know, it goes up to a 99, but I haven't got that last cap upgrade. So yeah, you guys just see, I just, right off the bat, grab two offensive rebounds. I'm playing up against a rim protector. So obviously, this is the hardest archetype to ISO up on. Given the fact that I'm a 69, does not make it ex any easier, bro. Anyways, you guys can see, they think we're about to be running some, they, they thought we were running some L2 cheese right there. I was, just, I was just trying to reset so we could iso but this dude's trying to switch and all this stuff for stuff that wasn't about to happen but yeah anyways you can see we're rocking out here my gameplay is a little bit laggy you're not gonna lie i was lagging these for a few games shout out to 2k servers but yeah pretty much you know just right off the bat this guy's gonna go ahead and get a little strip on me fluke strip and you know he's the lockdown you know they they get those you know it doesn't really make the most sense like all the time you know he really just be doing 95 post control and stuff i don't i honestly don't know bro i think i think 95 just means nothing in this game but anyways you can see they think we can they just keep on thinking we're gonna be doing this l2 cheese but i'm just low-key trying to post up on him he's not getting the memo but yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and take the easy dunk this time he ain't gonna strip it this time but yeah this time now i'm getting the ball off the inbound so you can see i'm just gonna quickly go ahead spin past this guy they still think we're doing the l2 cheese but i'm literally just grabbing the ball and posting up bro these guys don't understand but yeah by the time they figured it out i have my takeover now so it's already too late man i'm gonna just show you guys pretty much i'm pretty sure after this is after this bucket right here where i really start ice wing and this guy finally decides to start 1v1 in me but yeah, pretty much, yeah, I just have my boy separate. Oh, yeah, let me do my thing. So right off the bat, I spin past him, bro. When you ISO up, man, if you're uh, if you're post up at mid-range, first of all, always start off by posting up at mid-range. When you're, If you're a post scorer, obviously, try to be in the post scoring. Uh, try to hold L2 as, as much as you can because, you know, you got the best ball control while you're like that. Now, you guys can see he's giving me so much space right now at mid. And yeah, I just faked him out, act like I was going to shoot something. He jumped and went for it. But right now, low-key, my post fadeaways are not the greatest. I don't got difficult shots. So, I'm, uh, you know, you got to play smart, bro. If you know there's a chance of you not making that post fadeaway like me right there, why take it, bro? When I can go for something easier, look at this, bro. Body him out my way, easy post hook. Like, it's nothing. That's another thing, bro. When you get your post score badge, when you get your post score takeover, or even if you're an athletic finisher, or I'm even, I think it's even for glass canners too. You could literally just go to the paint, tap square, and just keep tapping square until you get him in a body up animation. You guys see, I just quickly drop stepped him, put it on his head like it's nothing right there. Honestly, I was expecting to body him a little bit more than that. But either way, I got my takeover, so that stuff's going in every time. But yeah, you can see, look at all the space he's giving me, man. If I, like, you can see right there, I did pull it and I did miss it. You see, that's my mistake. Even though it was a completely full bar and I did have my takeover and it was a completely wide open shot, it bricked just because I don't have difficult shots. So, yo, if you're ISOing up on as a post scorer, man, you got to play smart. That's just right, right off the bat. It don't matter how good your player is. You can be a 99 overall. If you're not playing smart, if you're not taking smart shots, that's GG, bro. Like, you know, each build in this game takes skill. Post score is no exception. This build requires a lot of skill, man. So you can see, I'm going into the paint. He's still giving me space. So, you know, this time I'm going to pull it. I lagged right there, as you can see. So the shot did break. And right here, I'm just fooling around, man. Just shooting some shots. Look at the score, 18-0. Their boy's not playing. I don't want to be that guy that goes try hard when their boy's not playing. You can see he got lagged out or something, clearly. Or he maybe just quit himself. So I was like, yeah, I may as well try to do something now. Now it's fair. So you can do three seconds left. I went in for the dunk, man. You got to play smart. It's literally all it's about, bro. It don't matter what build you got. You could literally ice on any single build this game. And, you, you know, you could make it work as long as you're smart with what you do. Even if you're a pure lockdown, you cut ISO, bro. Trust me, you just got to be smart with what you take, smart with what you do. But, yeah, you guys can see, I, that was a rim protector right there. I went off on him. You could see, bro, no badges out here. I literally got post spin technician on bronze like that. I got brick wall, not even bad. You can see, man, it's just unlocked posterizer. You know, I don't even know what. I think it's fresh, very different gameplay footage of one that I got later on. But, yeah, you can see I got a cat breaker right here. But, yo, enough of that. Let's just go ahead and hop into another game real quick. I can show you guys some more footage and as you can see yeah these are my attributes i actually have right now so if you guys want to look at that that's pretty much all i got man when i tell you my, i barely upgrade anything i barely upgrade anything so yeah you can see we got a what is this on me got a stretch big on me this game so obviously you gotta play smart bro you know that that's a stretch big on you you know that his strength is not on par with yours well actually to be realistic right now i think his strength is as good as mine because i don't really have my strength upgraded 
but either way you just have the moral strength advantage so yo you can see i'm gonna use that to my advantage he's guarding me up at mid so i spin past him every single time you know you just gotta use you just gotta play smart bro literally if they guard you at mid spin it bro with your right analog stick i hope you know how to spin bro or else you're gonna need some more help than a simple tutorial but yeah if they're ever guarding you at mid you spin past them if they're giving you space like that you dash past them right there you don't spin you just continue to move on with your l2 but yeah the but the one thing you got to get down though is always hold l2 at mid you can see hold l2 and just watch what to do i see he's giving me space for the spin so i spin he was guarding me up too tight and if he isn't guarding you up too tight take the post fade if you're comfortable with it as for me i personally can't just because i don't got difficult shots but yeah you can see he's gonna pass to me again right here always make sure to be safe off the inbounds bro one thing i really hate is when we get inbound turnovers you can see i spin past him again posterizes other player man that's what that i don't even think i have posterizer yeah to be honest i just got takeover no badges out here dunking on people like that but yeah anyways i'm about to get this ball but now that i take over it's already gg you know nothing you can do i could just go to the i could just go to the paint tap square and like i elbow him out my way and that's literally easy to score every single time I get to the paint again, got both them jumping, easy layup, man. It's as simple as that, bro. And you can see, man, I'm telling you guys, literally, you can ISO with any single build in this game, bro. Like, look at this. I'm losing the key. My partner's not even playing right now. I, I don't know. He's on his phone or something right now. I told him, yo, to do your thing, let me ISO up. I see he's going to be too tight at mid. I spin, you know? It doesn't matter if you're doing the same move every single time. As long as it works, you just got to play smart, man. You got to see if they're guarding you at mid, you got to spin past them. If they're not guarding you tight enough, Take a post fade. If they're guarding you that perfect balance between both, try a drop step. You know, just try something, bro. You got to try that L2 post cheese. If you want, you get L2 post cheese, dive in the paint. You know, speed boost. That little L2 speed boost cheese. But yeah, anyways, post scores have to be the best ISO build in this game. Look at this. He's reaching now because that's his only choice getting the ball. I go in for a contested layup. It says open because he's too small. I knew he was too small, so I knew there was no way he was going to stop me. A smarter play right there actually would have been to take a Euro step layup, to be honest. But either way, it worked out. At the end of the day, he was too small to guard me, and I got my takeover too. So you can see my partner is still not playing. I don't even know what he's doing right now. But yeah, my takeover done right now, and I can still see he's guarding me up too tight at the at the mid. So I gotta hit him with it again, bro. He not learning from his mistakes. And that's one thing you gotta do, man. You gotta take those. You gotta see where you messed up and do it better next time. You know, it's no problem if you don't if you're not a perfect ISO or the first game. Just see where you messed up on your ISOs. That's one of the big things, bro. When people ISO and it doesn't work, they just quit or like they just try like something else or something. They don't actually try to fix up their mistakes. They don't actually try to stop. I got to do kicked out from his teammate grade too. Look at that. But yeah, they don't actually try to stop and see where they were making their mistakes and stuff. And like they just try something new. You actually gotta stop to see where you're making your mistakes. You can see I hit an easy post hook right there. That was a great animation on my player. I'm so happy you took a layup like that, not some dumb contested layup that I wouldn't want to see. But yeah, bro, it's really, it's really just all about the player you, all right? It's not about the player build. It's about who's playing on the player. Because at the end of the day, you could ISO with any single build in this game. It's just about how smart you are with it. And that's pretty much all there is to it, bro. Because no matter how good your three-point is, your mid-range is, your inside scoring is, your IQ is your best stat at the end of the day. But anyway, anyways, man, with that stuff being said, that just about wraps up the video. If you guys got any questions or anything of that sort, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I'd be glad to respond to any comments down there. If you guys need help or anything, you know, just leave it down there, man. I support you guys. Same way you guys could support me. But anyways, that is it for the video, man. I hope it helped. It's Gaines here. And I'm... Um